Gonna do a little trout spay here. Today we have an absolutely beautiful fall day. Weather is about to change dramatically, so we figured we better get out here. We've got um, three weights set up with uh, some soft tackles on a Scandi line, and then we've got four weights set up, Skagit, with some streamers. So we're gonna start out probably rolling the streamers, and then uh, when we get a little closer to the BWO window midday, then we might uh, might start rolling some soft tackles. We'll see how it goes. There's still a little grass in the water. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's kind of weird. Uh, it feels weird to be doing like a vlog style right now. But Fred's already down here swinging his uh, Scandi or Skagit setup? Skagit setup with a streamer. Oh, just had one rise. There's some fish looking up today, so hopefully there's some BWOs. Per the last video, uh, the top five um, trout spay flies, uh, I got one of those on. This is the uh, the Flaribu, which has always been a, a killer pattern the past couple years. So we're gonna anchor up over here and swing from the boat for a minute while I get some shots of Fred on the bank. And uh, we'll see if we can hook up. Doing better. On the date, on the, you hit it on the hang down or? There we go, first one. Nice work, Darren. On the old flash and grab. How do you feel? Feel good. It was the first fish in a while, so. <laughs> there he goes. A couple little, a lot of weeds. Micro fishing, tippy cast. I'm grabbing a lot of weeds, though. Let's just go straight across the other side. Swing that real quick, tail up. So right now, uh, we're still waiting for cloud failure. The uh, sun's still bright. We were expecting it to be all clouds today, but the W is down. Uh, unfortunately, still a lot of weeds in the water column. We're uh, expecting when the clouds kick in, the, uh, the bite's gonna get on, but we, uh, we switched to some brighter flash and grabs and got a couple of rainbows. And uh, I think we're gonna be set up for a pretty good afternoon if we can just figure out a couple of runs where the weeds aren't gonna get on our lines on every cast. But official bite, we just gotta find the spot. There we go. Boom. And, and so. maybe you see that let's see that that little uh, signature that boulder or yes, bucket thing. I do. Might be one right there too. Oh, you want me to go down there? No, I mean you just keep fishing. I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna right. just roll you right into it. Okay. Jay, how big was that one? Uh, he was about as big as he was. About 15. Okay. It was huge. Right on there. Well, right now I'm running our new Prototype four weight Saga spay rod. Got some 40 pound OPST laser line for my running line. Still got quite a bit of weeds and crap in the water. And um, so I'm running, oops, there was a grab. I'm running a, uh, actually a longer 10 foot head sink tip right now off of my uh, Skagit head just so I can rip it and pull it through the water a little faster to try to clear some of those weeds off. If it was clean of weeds, I'd probably swing a little slower and uh, use a lighter tip, but it's actually easier to rip the weeds with the bigger, heavier sink tip. Plus it allows me to uh, strip retrieve the fly a little bit from time to time, keep it moving. Water's still warm enough, the fish are uh, aggressive that they're uh, They'll take that fly moving. It doesn't have to be just static on the swing.
fancy new mic. Test, test, one, two. This thing's sweet. DJI wireless mics. We got these for our upcoming trip. You guys probably don't care, but. <laughs> Fred and Darren are uh, down here swinging right below me. Uh, doesn't look like they're picking up anything yet, but uh, appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate you letting me t test out my mic here. Darren decided to pull out the uh, single hand rod and started catching them left and right. So uh, this is no longer a spay video. <laughs> well, it will be. A, we're going back to that, but we're not in spay water right now. So we're switching gears. Clouds are, we, are starting to come in. What are we rigging and testing? Well, we've got a, uh, a new line here from Scientific Anglers, the Trout Express. And so you're about to uh, give it a rundown, setting it up on a Squatch 7-weight rod, Squatch 2. On some some uh, fluorocarbon on, just, a, just some 12-pound. Yep. Ready? Go. Boom. There's a little clap, crap for a clouser. This work. Okay, so Jay, the line's working. Yeah. Yeah, get in there because you're coming. You've got more good water. Send it. Sherry. Don't have any fish. This is a post-spawn female already. Is it? Yeah. So we came out today to. Uh, basically work on some trout spay action, do a video. We were planning to swing some streamers, also uh, potentially run some soft hackles. And we started out with some streamers, had a little bit of love, but it really wasn't happening. So Darren picks up a fly rod, single hand, starts chucking, immediately hooks a fish on like his second cast. So I go, hey Jay, guess what? I have the new Trout Express from Scientific Angler on my seven weight, or at least I had the rod, and I've got a spool with the line. Jay had his spay rod set up, so what we had to do is we had to swap spools, which he wasn't really interested in doing. He's like, I don't know if I want to go through all that process, but it's like, dude, it's like a couple minutes, let's swap spools. <laughs> and then he did. And Jay, what do you think about this fly line? How many casts did it take you to catch a fish? Um, like two. Like two like casts. Two or three casts. Like, 100 yards, dude's got four fish in the net. Streamer fishing turned out to be epic today. So uh, well, not the, nice, only... the nice thing is that the, your pickup is super short. So yep. you're able to get back in the water quickly. It, like Fred was saying, I, we think it's, it's uh, definitely designed to fish from a boat. Um, it's got, as soon as you hit that very obvious uh, transition, transition, so right red there. on the color change. As soon as you hit that rod tip, your rod tip hits that section, you just pick up one haul and you're you're back in the water fishing. Boom. So quick, efficient. Yeah, I mean we I probably picked up four or five fish within a hundred yards. That yeah. was pretty wild. And then I took it, picked up a couple fish. Darren took it, picked up a couple fish. Thanks to Darren's little juicy fly, which we're not gonna show today. <laughs> That'll come at another time. But anyway, that was fun. Thanks, Jay, for for taking a little time yep. and swapping we, uh, spools. We did just get that on flyproject.us, so you can, uh, if you're interested in that line, you can check it out on the website. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Tight lines. Flyproject.us. <laughs> <laughs>